Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is camera aspect ratio nodes. Let's run through a quick little example. If I was to look at my, let's actually start this up in a new window. Here we go. If I was to resize my window, it's going to be automatically set up without an aspect ratio. An aspect ratio is basically the width and the height of your display port in this case. Or if you're looking at a monitor, it's your ratio of the monitor. Traditionally, you'd have something like a 16 by 9, which is your widescreen aspect ratio for most monitors. And you have different things like 4x3, which is your older monitor types. And you have an, even have things like 21x9 for your newer monitors for your ultrawides. So if you're using an aspect ratio node, and this is when we hit do something, I'm constraining it to a one aspect ratio. It's basically going to lock your camera's aspect ratio to that value. And even if you resize, as you notice, it's going to keep my camera view to a one. Now let's look at the nodes in this case. Now this video is set up for the camera aspect ratio nodes because we have a few nodes to cover as well as how the camera aspect ratio works itself on the camera. Let's start with that first. If we were to go to my generic character, this is what we're using and we're seeing. We have a camera. This camera object has a few settings and this is what we're using to view through our world. The ones we care about here are going to be the constrain aspect ratio and the aspect ratio itself. By default, this is disabled. This is why when we hit play and we resize our screen, it's not going to lock it to a specific ratio. We don't have black borders on the side because we have a widescreen, or if we have an ultra ride, for example, we don't have black borders on the side. Or if we have a, traditionally what would happen is you'd lock it to 16 by nine. And if you have a four by three monitor, you'd end up with black borders on the top and bottom because it can't properly do the ratio. If you want to do that, you want to lock it, you are going to have to make sure you check the constraint aspect ratio box, and then you set up your aspect ratio in one of two ways here. You can set the aspect ratio as a number. A ratio is the width divided by the height. So as you can see here, we have a 1.7777 to one ratio. When we run this and with it locked, and then we resize, you'll notice it's maintaining that vertical ratio. So if we had a four by three monitor, we're gonna have something more like this on our screen physically. And as you can see, it's trying to constrain to like a 16 by nine. That's why if we did full screen, it looks good. And if, well, you can, there's little black borders here cause I'm not in full, full screen, but you get the rate, you get the point. This is basically what our ratio is constrained to 16 by nine. And of course it's gonna adjust it. This is why if you have an ultra wide monitor and they've locked the ratio, you end up with something like this. You end up with black borders on the side because the game is only rendering in 16 by nine. We've constrained our ratio. Now the other option, if you do it in here, can be in the form of width colon height. So we did 16 by nine, like we talked about earlier, and we ran this. Now we're locked to 16 by nine ratio, which is our widescreen, which still does the sides. Or we could do something like a four by three, which is our more square ratio. And as you can see, we're now locked to our four by three and it's more square. So those are what your aspect ratios are for. One thing you can do, and the reason why we're covering this is this is set up by default, but these are also set up in nodes. So if we go in here, we have our two nodes. We have our set constraint aspect ratio, which is just the Boolean, which we check here. And then we have our set aspect ratio itself, which is an input aspect ratio of a float. One thing you'll notice here, unfortunately, we have the nice width colon height version here, 16943. Unfortunately, this only takes the float version of it, so you'll have to calculate it itself with a calculator, width divided width over height. In this case, we're gonna go with the one to show you the square version. Actually, let's go with, let's go with something a little more cinematic. So let's go with a two ratio is what we're gonna do. And if we were in a game and we're playing our game and the person's doodling along, they're having fun, we trigger a cutscene, 
do something, boom, we cut off the top and the bottom. We give it a little more of a cinematic feeling. The cinematic feeling primarily comes from theaters, movies, pictures, and things like that with your ultra-wide aspect ratios. Most of them have something like a 20 by 9 or 21 by 9. So they're very wide. So in order for games to emulate that feeling, you do something like this. You'll push out your ratio. Let's give it even more. Let's go with the 2.5. And we're walking around. We trigger a cutscene, talking to the boss. Boom, we get this nice cinematic feeling. Throw some text on the screen or some voiceover work and some camera work with sequencer. And now it looks like we're in a fancy movie as this plays out. So that is what those two nodes are. You can, of course, get the aspect ratio by simply talking to your camera and get aspect ratio. And you can go ahead and get the value of the constraint aspect ratio, the Boolean, or the aspect ratio itself, which is this number, which is why when I hit do something, I get back our 2.5, which is our aspect ratio. Now, the set aspect ratio, ratio, as you'll notice, will not show up. It's going to be something part of the camera, set aspect ratio, set constraint aspect ratio, and it's going to require an input of a camera component. If we try to compile, it's going to go ahead, well, it's not hooked up, so let's delete this one, unhook our target, compile. It will get an error. It must have a connection. It needs a camera component reference. Camera components are simply these. The camera component that you've added to your player or a cutscene or whatever you want. Keep in mind it's a camera component. So during our previous example of a dynamic scene, you move up to the player. It shifts over to a scenic camera, which is another blueprint you've created with a camera component in it. And you do a nice little cutscene with sequencer or a matinee, for example. But you need access to the camera component itself that you'll be viewing through, whatever the active one is. In this case, I'm just simply getting my character, telling it it's generic character, because that's what it is, and getting the camera, which is an automatically set up variable, as we can see here, from our component system. Once I have our camera, then I have access to, of course, setting the ratio and getting the ratio. And that's it. That is going to wrap up our aspect ratio nodes. As you can see, there are a few different ones. You can set them. One thing to show in here, I forgot to do, if we were to not check the constraint aspect ratio and we were to run this and hit the button, nothing's going to happen. If you don't have the constraint aspect ratio checked, all you're doing is setting a valuable, variable value, but not using it. You have to have the constraint aspect ratio checked in order to constrain it. Also note, by default, this is going to come with a zero value. And if you constrain to a zero value, well, you don't have a ratio. You have pretty much nothing. So that's something to keep in mind.